The Crusades were a long series of holy wars, each a saga unto itself, spanning centuries of time. Though amidst the religious conquest and passionate faith, one story stands out, swatched in tragedy beyond compare. Amid the thunderous clash of swords and hopeful prayers of the faithful, this war in particular was forged on the anvil of unresting belief. To fathom what transpired during this momentous conflict haunts humanity forever. Christians believe that because children were pure and innocent, faith in God would provide all that they needed. With this power, they could peacefully reclaim the Holy Land. Their goal was not for bloodshed, but rather the conversion of Muslims to Christianity. Hope was the liberation of Jerusalem through the purity of their cause. You know, this terrible war was led by some charismatic people. Stephen Cloyes. He was a shepherd boy who claimed that he received some vision from Jesus. There was also Nicholas the Shepherd, who was the one to actually begin rallying the children up to join the crusade. All under one promise. Divine protection. These leaders, often portrayed as prophets or messengers, captured the imagination of their followers and led them on a journey of hope and peril. This children's crusade embarked on a dangerous pilgrimage across Europe, traveling to multiple Mediterranean ports. The hope and joy of their holy land felt palpable to them. But to each kid's devastation, their youthful dreams were shattered. Now, with the palm of shattered dreams within their hands, the harsh realities of the time began creeping in. The many children that partook in this trip now experienced the devastating traumas that would stain history itself. The kids began to suffer from hunger, exhaustion, and exploitation. The kids with what they had left gave into death. If not, the others were to be caught like animals and sold into slavery. The journey of hope soon descended into tragedy and despair. This children's crusade ended in heartbreak and disillusion. Most of them were either dead, enslaved, or lost without a trace. Goals that they had left undone show this crusade really close. A testament, a warning of the danger of blind faith and the exploitation of the innocent. In the end, the Pope deemed followers of Stephen and Nicholas a disgrace to Christian leadership, condemning both to excommunication.